So today potentially is the last day we have to sign DJ Reader before he's gone. Before he's gone. Tomorrow he visits the Detroit Lions and potentially will walk away with a contract from them. They have the salary cap to pay him. They need help on their defense. Right now, PFF uh, projects that his contract will be a three-year, $45 million deal, which would put him in perfect range for the Detroit Lions. So, the Bengals have kind of, you know, twittered their thumb around when it comes to this. We signing DJ Reader. They have, you know, tried to go after Malcolm Roach of the Saints. They failed. And they're still kind of sitting here in this puddle of, well, hopefully things work out. Because if he doesn't go to the Lions, the Tennessee Titans are also interested. And they're going to also schedule a um, a meeting with him. They're going to host him as well. And, man, it sucks. It really does because now we have like a little bit of a timetable on when we potentially will be losing him. And by tonight, if we don't sign him, it looks like we might not sign him at all. Which, again, like I said, just absolutely... Man, we need him. Okay. Like we're we're not sugarcoating this right now. We're not bullcrapping around. We gotta go against Derrick Henry twice a year, every single year. That's not easy to do. We have to go against Najee Harris and Jalen Warren every year, twice a year. We have to go against the um Nick Chubb twice a year every year. They also got Nakeem Hines over there in Cleveland. We got gashed last year, decimated by our division running the ball on us. And let alone we had to go against Lamar Jackson. Like, we can't go into next season and not have a capable defensive tackle. I know B.J. Hill is great and I love B.J. Hill, but he can't be everything. And yes, we couldn't draft someone. It's always a possibility we go out there and draft someone new in that pick 18 and potentially... But then we also haven't even signed a free agent, you know, right tackle. We're kind of twittering our thumbs on the whole Trent Brown deal. And again, like I said, you know, I get it. You know, we, we're going to have uh, T. Higgins on the one-year contract, a franchise tag. And we'll kind of go on from there. But we need someone in the middle to shut down this run. So it's going to be really disappointed, disappointing. If we do not sign DJ Reader back. And I know he's older. I know he's coming off an injury. He says right here in the article. I feel like I've gotten a lot of good ball left in me. I mean I feel like he. Um, this was one of my better years. I don't really want to end it that way. I got a lot left in me. So just rehab and get back. And listen. I believe him. I believe he has a lot of ball left in him. And we just got to see him go out there and. We got to give him another contract because here's the thing, right? And I know there's going to be some naysayers who say, well, we don't need DJ Reader. He's older and he's coming off his second time, you know, tearing his quad. Obviously not the same quad. It's the opposite quad. But still, there's going to be some naysayers. Um, there's no other options available that's better. Like... He is the best option available right now in free agency. So whether or not, you know, someone's going to make the argument, well, you know, he's coming off an injury. This is his second quad injury. There's no one else out there that's a better option than him. And the thing is, right now, we're desperate. We really are. To get this defensive tackle position figured out, we're desperate. Again, like I said, we could always get someone in the draft. That's always a possibility. But and then you're putting a rookie out there to the Wolves against a very tough division. Like, we can't sugarcoat. Our division is tough next year. We thought this year the AFC North was a gauntlet. Next year, the AFC North is a freaking, like, it's a Super Bowl every time we play. Because everyone in the AFC North this offseason has gotten better. Arguably the only team who hasn't gotten better I would say is the Steelers. But even then that's arguable because they got Patrick Queen on defense to go with the linebacking core. That's already amazing. Then they of course have, um, they got rid of Dante, Dante, uh, Deontay Johnson. 
but they still have decent receivers. They got Russell Wilson, which I don't think is that much of an upgrade, to be honest. But they're probably going to have a good draft like they normally do. And they're, they're the team that I'm least scared of. But even then, they still got TJ Watt. They still got Alex Highsmith. They still got a pretty great defense. And then the Ravens are just loaded in every category possible. And Cleveland, they're getting their job done as well. I mean, they're pulling money out of their butt somehow. Come on. We can't fumble the bag here, Cincy. We can't fumble the bag here. We gotta bring this man back. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.